Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to share 28 eye props of the floor for you for 3D animation in iClone 7. Let's have a look what had I share. First you go to the download link at your video description. You just need to drag to your bottom of the video. Get this one. Download the iProps, the Floor Pack iProp Collection 01. After you download this, you will get a zip file. The Floor Pack Collection. The Floor Pack iProp Collection 01. This one. So once you get this zip file, you just need to right click and click Extract All. Then you should be able to get this folder. All our iProps, what we call the icon prop files, you right click view as a large icon, icon. View as a large icon. Then you can choose the floor that you want. If you view in this way, open your icon. You can apply any of the floors. Just need to drag, drag into your icon. That's all. Now you can see the floor texture. Next, I'm going to show you how to make it continuous. You just need to right click, press W, and hold the control, drag the green bar, the green arrow. Or you can double click, press W, hold the control, and drag the red arrow. You arrange it properly to make sure you don't have any of the gaps between. All the texture is automatically arranged properly. You don't have this continuity. Everything can be continuous. For this one, you can drag to here as well. If you still can see the gap, you can rearrange it to make sure you cover all the gaps. Now, let's have a look. A closer look, you don't have any of the gaps. So you can arrange your, your floor like seamless texture, seamless, seamless, it have the continuity, even like this, if I arrange this, for the horizontal and vertical, it can continue. Let's have a look first. It all can join together, hold the control to drag. You can make a perfect floor for your 3D animation skin. Scene. Seamless continuity here. We don't want to leave any gaps there. No. Everything looks perfect. Of course, you can select everything. Something like this. You double click one and hold the control, click here, click here, and click here also. Then you press W and again hold the control, it will duplicate four of them. You make a giant size floor. Alright. So this is how can we create a floor. There are 28 types of the floors that I already named it properly. You can apply it anytime. Alright, next I'm going to show you how to make it perfect. For this time, all the floors will only have the base color that is the diffuse. Next I'm going to show you how. Alright, for this one, what is the name? We check the name. This is the Cobblestone Floor 05. By default, the roughness and metallic, if you did, you delete it. 
and now you can see the reflection. You only have the base color. Find out this name. Go and download another texture pack if you really have a very strong CPU and GPU in your computer. You go and download the texture image pack, this one. I already put the download link here. Floor texture pack collection 01, where I originally download from the texture heaven. Which all the floors here are free for you to use it even in commercial. That is CC0 license. After you download it, the floor texture pack collection. Do the same way, you right click and click extract all. Then you should be able to get this folder. So just now, what is that name? Cubelstone05. This one. All right. Now let's have have an experiment here. You can see here you have a light reflection. And you check the map here, the bump, the AO, the metallic for this one, the name, make sure again, cobblestone floor 05. Then you check your folder, cobblestone 05. When the moment you apply the bump, it can be the, the bump or the normal. Usually I will use the purple color, the normal map, I drag in. Drag to the bump, and here choose normal map, click OK. Immediately you can see, the bump itself will change the way that the light reflected from the surface. Of course this surface look a little bit weird. It look like full of the water in the rainy day and look very wet. Just because of the roughness and the metallic. Next we are going to apply. Next one what we call the roughness for this map, you drag into here. Now, you can see everything it looks normal. With the bump map. So how can I do a demo for you to show you how the bump map works? Alright, I open the scene. The light here, I off everything, three of this. And only this one, I make it visible. Now, I change the direction of the light. The bump map itself have different reflective surface. So it will make it realistic. However, if I delete the bump, I delete the bump. Then, even if I rotate the light, it don't have any of the effect. And what is this? This is because of the roughness map. Some, something this one. Alright. Now it back to the original. If I rotate the light, it don't have any effect. When I put in the bump, for this one, Apply the bump map with the normal. Then now, I rotate this. It changed the way that the light reflected on the surface, and the roughness. You must apply it. Roughness. And next, this one the spec means specular. That is the metallic. You also apply it. And the next one is the AO. You make it become PBR if your computer is powerful enough, with the strong GPU and CPU with enough memory, then you can apply all this and include the displacement. You also can apply it and make it very realistic. Now, let's have a look. This one. Alright, change the light. Now you can see it is very realistic. Maybe it is something wrong here. Let's check the, the texture. Is this fit to this? 
the diffuse should be this one. Alright, so now let's have a look. This time is the correct one. Change the direction of the light. It also change the way that it reflect on the floor. You can see, even if this tiny plants here, this one, this is the leaf. You, it also have the shadow effect. This is the way how the balm mat work. And always remember, in this folder, all of these maps work together. At the beginning, you can delete everything. Now, I delete everything. And actually, it is just a plain surface. I delete this as well. This is just a plain. And double click it. Totally empty. Now, I choose one that I desire. The PBR. I choose one. For example, if I want this, sorry, if I want this, cobblestone floor 13. Where is it? This one? All right. The first thing what I need to do, find the diffuse DIFF, put into the base color. Next is the normal map. Click OK. Right, now you can see. Next step, the AO. Is there any AO here? If you don't have, then you can just ignore. Next one is the roughness. Specular, put into the metallic. Displacement, put into here. Click OK. Now you can see it, it make it a better floor. If I rotate the light again, You can create some, some of the shadow effect. This is because of the bump. And next, what can I do? Let's say if this is a raining day. Raining day should be wet. Then you can delete the roughness to make it have the water effect there. Or you can delete the metallic if you want. But usually, I don't delete the metallic. Delete the roughness map, it will make it wet. That's all. This is how can we use all this floor all this PBR. If you use the traditional, that is an, another story. I use the PBR and make it realistic. Alright, that's all for today on how to download and apply all this floor and create the seamless continuity between the floors. Create a big size of the floor and how to apply the bar map and the PBR. PBR maps like roughness, bump, normal, displacement, roughness, all this. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to you, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on the mini bell, and select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you will receive the notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy and happy animation.